Hello everyone, it's Brittany again from Esri Canada Technical Support, here to talk more about licensing. If you just purchased an ArcGIS desktop concurrent use license for the first time and are looking for some instructions on how to authorize it, this is the video for you. In this video, we will be talking about authorizing the ArcGIS desktop concurrent use license via the internet. Now before we begin, I'd like to go over a brief introduction on how a concurrent use license for ArcGIS Desktop works. ArcGIS Desktop concurrent use licenses are hosted within the ArcGIS License Server Administrator, which is a separate installation downloaded from my Esri. This application can be installed on whichever machine you'd like to be hosting the licenses, granted that they meet the system's requirement for the version installed and as long as the client machines are within the same network. This way, the connected client machine can check out licenses whenever they are needed or borrow them for an extended period of time. Once the end user is done with the license, aka as they close the program, the license is then checked back into ArcGIS License Server Administrator for another end user to use. So if you're new to ArcGIS Desktop Concurrent Licensing Architecture, here are three simple steps to remember. Number one, install the desired version of ArcGIS License Server Administrator in your desired license managing environment. Number two, authorize the core licenses and extensions. And number three, connect from the client machine to the license server machine via ArcGIS Administrator. To install ArcGIS License Server Administrator on your license server, please sign in to your MyEsri account with downloads permissions, navigate to My Organizations, and select the Downloads tab. In here, you can select the desired version of ArcGIS Desktop. And let's scroll down to the License Manager op uh, items here. There is the Windows version as well as the Linux version, so you can download the correct one accordingly. And now we can click the Downloads button and finally run the downloaded program. Once installed, this is what the ArcGIS License Server Administrator looks like. Please make sure that you're running this application as an administrator in order to make necessary changes. Here you can authorize your concurrent use license product by clicking the authorization folder, by selecting the ArcGIS desktop version that you've installed, and by clicking the authorize now button. Now for the sake of this demo, we will be authorizing an ArcGIS desktop basic level for concurrent use and some commonly used extension products, which includes 3D Analyst, Spatial Analyst, and Network Analyst. So as we click Authorize Now, the Software Authorization Wizard pops up, and we're presented with three options. If you haven't authorized any licenses yet, select the first radio button that says, I need to authorize licenses on my license server. If you already authorized your licenses but want to add some more products, select the second radio button. And the third radio button is if you received a provisioning file and uh, would like to expedite your authorization process. And we have another video coming out soon, so stay tuned. Then we'll need to select the core product that we are authorizing and in this case, we're going to authorize an ArcGIS desktop license. So let's click Next. In this page, we will authorize with Esri now using the internet. We'll click Next. Here, we'll need to enter our information, specifically the fields with an asterisk. Once that is done, we can click Next. And here, the categories can be selected to the most applicable one to your field. 
Now we can enter our core license codes that begin with the letters EFL and paste it in the in their respective license levels. We'll also need to identify the quantity of licenses that is allocated to this particular license code. If you're unsure, you can check in your My Esri account under My Organizations, under the Licensing tab, and in the View Authorizations option on the left. You can click the details on the desired product and delve into more details about your license, including your authorization code. Once you've done this, we can click Next. If we have any extensions to authorize, here's the chance to copy and paste those respective EFL codes next to the correct extension product. We'll have to select I have authorization numbers to authorize one or more extensions in order to enable this. Let's paste some EFL codes. and identify the number of licenses that we hope to authorize available and attached to these license codes. Once that is done, we can click Next. And this is where we wait the process for the process to authorize the license. Once the authorization is processed, we can Click Finish to close the Software Authorization Wizard window, which brings us back to the ArcGIS License Server Administrator. We'll wait while it rereads the license, and now we can verify that the license is now available under the Availability folder and that the license service is running as shown below. If it is not running, we can click the Start Stop License Service and click Start to restart the license service. Let's bring it over to the end user's machine. Along with your installation of ArcGIS Desktop, ArcGIS Administrator is part of the suite. Make sure to launch this application as an administrator in order to make changes. In ArcGIS Administrator, inside the desktop folder, we must select the core product that we want to use. Since we know that ArcGIS Desktop Basic Concurrent Use License has already been authorized in the ArcGIS License Server Administrator, we can select the Basic ArcView Concurrent Use license as the core product to check out. And now we can connect to the license manager, aka the machine name that is hosting all the authorized license licenses by clicking change and by either browsing to the machine that is hosting all the licenses within your network or by manually typing in the machine name. If you are unsure of the license manager's machine name, open up ArcGIS License Server Administrator in your license server, and the machine name will be shown in the top left corner. Once that is done, we can now check out an ArcGIS Desktop Basic Concurrent Use License whenever we launch an ArcGIS desktop program like ArcMap. So today we covered the topic of authorizing an ArcGIS desktop concurrent use license as well as a few popular extension products within ArcGIS License Server Administrator via the internet using three simple steps. Step one, install ArcGIS License Server Administrator in your desired license managing environment. Step two, authorize the core licenses and if applicable, some extension products. Step three, 
connect from the end user machine to the license server machine via ArcGIS Administrator in order to access your authorized license. As a side note, please ensure to deauthorize all your licenses in your license manager environment beforehand whenever you're expecting to either change machines or about to schedule a system update. I hope you found this video helpful and that I debunked some ArcGIS desktop licensing myths for you. If so, don't forget to like this video and feel free to leave comments and or suggestions below. Lastly, if you want to see more Esri Canada technical videos, you can subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below the video. Anyways, happy mapping. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.